Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is the React.js video tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to use states in a React.js component. Now we'll check the final output. At this moment, A and B's values contain zeros. Now let's enter the value 8. See here, 8, 5. 8 plus 5, 13, 8 minus 5, 3, 8, 5 spawn. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous React.js tutorial series. You can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist. Now let's continue the today's tutorial, how to use states in a React.js component. I am using Visual Studio Core to create a React.js application. If you notice here, the first iPhone app is a React application I have created in this React iPhone examples folder. And app.js, which is the React.js default component. Now, first, we'll add one new component in, the, in our project source folder. I'm selecting the source folder, right click the mouse, new file, and the file name I'm adding are select, which is a React select.js. And here we got our JavaScript file. Now, when we want to create a, a React component, first we need to import a React class from the React library. So let's import the class first. Import React from between single quotes. I'm adding the React library. Now, after that, I'm creating a class component in this R select JS class. R select extends um, react dot component. Now we'll be in curly brackets. Now this class I want to render render method uh, return return. We need to put this in curly bracket. The render method. After that, I'm adding one root com root element h1 react js using sticks. After that, I'm adding horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, I'm adding two input box input elements input type is equals to text or simply add the input with a placeholder enter the number i'm closing this input tag after that ampersand and bsp column which gives a space between the elements Now I'm adding another input element with the same placeholder, enter the number. After that, I'm adding one simple horizontal line. What I'm doing, I'm putting this in a center element. Now the elements will center on the browser. Now the next step after adding the elements, the input placeholder elements, next let's import, export, sorry, export, export default or select my component name. Let's save this file, save all. To run this component on a browser, we need to configure in the index.js file where it is uh, here it is index.js file open that one if you notice in this index.js file this render method contains an app component which is our default component of our application so what i'm doing i don't want to browse this app element, app component instead of that let's comment this thing i want to run my component called r select from 
the path are select colon then I am adding my component name that's it let's save this file save all now it's time to run this application for that go to view and terminal here we got our terminal which is nothing but a powershell and notice the path is d colon react examples which is nothing but our folder name which i have created in this d drive now inside this folder i have my react js application so let's add my application name to this path cd change directory first iphone app enter then let's run this first app application on the browser for that we have a command called npm which is a nudget package manager then start command enter here our script is executed oops here we got an error input is a void element tag and master let's fix this one input element see the horizontal line i have placed this inside the input element so all now we'll check the output see here we got the output the react js using states which is our h1 uh, h1 tag and two text box controls now my aim is using states what are the user enter values i want to get the results addition subtraction multiplication and division so first here enter the value a value a copy this one and b this is the b save this file let's check the output see here enter the value a and enter the value b now i'm implementing states so for that at the class above the render method i'm adding a state between curly brackets colon we have two input elements so i require two variables a colon zero comma and b colon zero after that after the horizontal line now my aim is if a user enter the values a b i want to display addition subtraction multiplication division the results so first i'm adding add between curly brackets this dot state dot a see here once i add the state i got a variable a plus again between curly brackets this dot state dot b is equals to this dot state dot a plus i'm adding these two variables with the plus operator this dot state dot b then i'm adding one simple uh, break then let's add the subtraction copy this one paste here instead of plus i'm adding minus and this one also minus multiplication i'm adding asterisk and the last one is a division which is a forward slash now let's check the output right now the a b contains zero values save let's check the output and see here we got a new output adding zero plus zero because this zero is a variable and this zero is b variable both are zeros right now so it's showing zeros so if we do here suppose 10 a is 10 and b is around 2 let's save this file save all we'll check the output again this is the results of our coding part now instead of displaying the values from here 
I want to enter the user input values, the A value here and B value here and the results I want to display in this uh, here at the bottom. So for that I am declaring a event, so value A is equals to event. Now in this event, this dot set state set state is a method in this method i'm adding the value we're entering in this input placeholder so a column event dot event is nothing but this event here target dot value the values we are entering is the integer value so we need to add the parse int parse int column uh, not here here again we require for the value b this one add b this is the variable b i am adding that's it now here i am adding the event called on change event is equals to between curly brackets this dot this dot value a value a is nothing but this one this event on change on change event is equals to this dot value b that's it now here what i'm doing instead of uh, 10 i'm making zeros everything let's save this file save all we got a message compiled successfully let's check the output so at this moment the a and b values zero zero so now enter the value 5 see here once i add 5 the a values is showing 5 here and b value again 5 so 5 plus 5 is 10 5 minus 5 is 0 5 into 5 25 5 divided by 5 1 if i add 25 here we got the results let's put this all in a bold tag this one Save this file. Now we'll check the final output. At this moment, A and B's values contain zeros. Now let's enter the value eight. See here, eight. 5, 8 plus 5, 13, 8 minus 5, 3, 8, 5 is 4. That's it. In this video, I have showed how to use in states in React.js. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.